Hey, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. Um, today's example is a Mishmet BF109F4, I think it is, by Toribo. So it's a pretty generic, cheap um, brand. Um, similar to the Yak, I think it was Yak 9 that we had. Um, so this was $25 off a seller on eBay, which is, as you know, is pretty, pretty good value. Pretty cheap, so as you can see, it doesn't come with anything, you know, fancy or anything like that. It's in a nice packet. Primarily just with the stand, so we'll just we all know about the mission now, so I'll just get straight to the model. We'll just get this uh, open. So it does come with here is a generic stand as you can see. Uh, it has details of the aircraft, um, modern German flag, assembles quite easy, and we'll try and we'll try and get this bad boy out. What do you reckon? Um, Okay, we've got to get these little pops. Um, so it's going to be a bit noisy for a moment. I'll just. Uh, uh, I hate this part. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We'll just throw that packet out the way and we'll have a look at this bad boy in all its glory. So, yellow 5, it's all die cast. It's got a reasonable weight to it. Um, propeller does. Does move nice and freely. It's got some uh, really good details on the nose. The actual panel lines of the aircraft, as you can see, are quite good. It does have a figure in the cockpit, pretty standard sort of figure. Yeah, no, it's definitely definitely a decent looking unit. It sits in the hand, obviously, it sits in the hand nicely. Colours on it are quite nice, it's sort of a wintry scheme with the um, yellow accent highlights for identification purposes. You don't want any friendly fire. <laughs> Does have some nice um, underwing details there. Fuel tank. No, it's very, very good. Obviously, that's where the stand will mount. There's a tail wheel that's in uh, up position, so there is no option to sort of bring that down. So when you do display it sitting on the shelf, it'll just be, that that should drop down, but um, because it's, it is in fixed gears down position, which, I, you know, as I always say, you know me by now, um, I'm wheels down, so. But um, overall, I think this, for $25, I think this model presents well. Um, Value-wise, the paint, the little little details and everything are quite quite ex you know exquisite. Um, very similar to the more you know expensive type uh, diecast models that you can can get. But um, no, I think it's very very nice you know unit. I think it's you know pretty good bit of kit, especially with all the details and everything. One thing it is lacking is that tail marking. But you know, that's a you got a 50-50 chance when you buy a German aircraft from World War II to have that marking on there, depending on what manufacturer you do purchase from. So in the sausage finger test, sits in the hand like a, you know, any other Messerschmitt does. But uh, so we'll keep this short and sweet, and um, yeah, that's it. So that's the 172nd scale BF109 F4 from Toribo, which was uh, $25 on eBay. So, yeah, as per usual, I'll take some photos without my sausage fingers in the way. And, um, you know, if this video is helpful anyway, give us a like if you can, and uh, even subscribe to the channel. All right, thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Cheers. Oh, sorry, back. And what I failed to uh, show you um, was just the uh, quick uh, stand allocation, which, as you see, is nice and easy. And there it is on the stand. So yeah, once again, thank you very much for watching and uh, taking the time to view our video. And uh, as I said just a moment ago, have a great rest of your day and uh, cheers.